I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, go follow me on Twitter, at KOBoxing86 TV. If you got breakdowns or predictions that you'd like me to do, knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com is my email address. Live shows every Wednesday and Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Also live with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's go ahead and get it popping. Let's get into our video. And today we got another fight prediction. This one going down on Friday, the IBF flyweight title of the world. 112-pound title on the line between Sonny Edwards and Felix Alvarado, man. They got Alvarado as a plus 400 underdog. They got Sonny Edwards as a minus 600 favorite. Sonny Edwards is 26 years old out of the U.K., orthodox fighter, 5'3", 18 wins, no losses with four wins by way of knockout. Then you got Felix Alvarado, 33 years old out of Nicaragua, orthodox fighter, 5'4", with a 68-inch reach, 38 wins, two losses with 33 wins by way of knockout. Um, this is your classic pressure fighter versus a boxer. Can the boxer use lateral movement in Sonny Edwards, use his lateral movement, use his elusivity, use his, um, use his footwork to avoid the, the, um, the, the power puncher, the aggressive fighter, counter, counter punch him while being defensively responsible and make the power, power puncher miss all night long. Sonny Edwards likes to switch stances. He is one of the best switch hitters in boxing, going orthodox in, in, in southpaw. Sonny Edwards relies on his check hook to, to pivot out and get out of trouble a lot, um, both from the southpaw position and the orthodox position. But Sonny Edwards has zero to little power. He has zero to little power, and he has to slap with his shots. Um, and he slaps with his shots. He don't have to, but he, he don't sit down on his shots at all. He is looking to move, outpoint you, and get a decision. He ain't looking to stop you. Uh, is he all in in this fight? He's been saying a lot. He's really, really upset with Julio Cesar Martinez right now. He really wants that fight. Um, he thought he was going to get that fight, and this is his defense. I hope for his sake he's not looking overlooking Felix Alvarado, but how locked in is he in this fight? Um, but that, that's him in a nutshell. Relies a lot on his movement. Tries to be elusive in the ring. Um, will switch stances on you. Um, not looking to hurt you with shots, basically looking to, to, to outscore you, make you miss, and make you pay. All right? And by make you pay, I just mean basically slap you because ain't no power coming behind them punches. He's literally trying to be defensive while punching. But a couple of things that he does do, he, he, he does get straight up sometimes when trying to pivot out. And also he gets his back stuck against the ropes. Go watch him back against the dude from Pakistan, Muhammad Wasim. Muhammad Wasim was able to pin him in corners a little bit pin him in the ropes a little bit, make him sit down and fight more than he would like to. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, he absolutely, positively, 100%, 1,000%, better not, bro. Now, I ain't telling no grown-ass man what to do, but he better not get caught up in them ropes against Felix Alvarado as much as he did against Racine. I'm talking about, bro, his back hit the ropes of the corner. He need to be running up out that hole, bro. He need to be running up out that hole. Straight up and down, bro. Like, he has to, bro, he cannot get into exchanges with this dude. Then you got Felix Alvarado. He's aggressive. He's intense. He's a power puncher. 33 knockouts and 38 victories. Gas tank on a thousand. Never stops coming. Um, he he does have pretty good head movement, but when you're as aggressive as he is, bro, he gets hit. He gets hit. It's just that is can can Sonny Edwards make him feel it, bro? Like like can he make him feel it? You know what I mean? Like that's just that's just what it boils down to. Um, but he got big power, and he is an absolute phenomenal body puncher, bro. He's a phenomenal body puncher, and he never stops going there. Specifically, his left hook to the body and that straight right hand to the body, because he's an orthodox fighter. Nasty from Felix Alvarado. Who am I picking in this fight? I'm going to tell y'all something. I've been wrong before, but I've been right. Y'all see the record. You know what I'm saying? I've been right a lot more than I'm wrong. And I'm telling y'all without a shadow of a doubt, 100%, I believe that the matchmakers and the odds makers messed this shit up and messed it up badly, bro. <laughs> I 
they got Felix Alvarado as a plus 400 underdog, bro. Alvarado should be the favorite, in my opinion. When you look at who Sonny Edwards fought, the only guy he fought was Matholomew. I don't know how to say his name. Matholomew. Matholomew. That's his best. That's the best fighter he's fought. But the, when he fought him, the guy was 38 years old, bro. I don't know how you could watch Sonny Edwards versus Muhammad Wasim in his most recent fight and think that Sonny Edwards is somehow going to be able to stay away from Felix Alvarado. He couldn't stay away from Wasim. Wasim was having rounds when he was giving him the bid. And Alvarado is... is Way better than was seen, bro. I think Sonny Edwards is not as elusive as some of y'all think he is. I don't think that Sonny Edwards is as fast and as quick and this this great boxing um, guru like a lot of y'all think he is. Some people have him as the best flyweight. I think if he was fighting Julio Cesar Martinez, he beat him because Julio Cesar Martinez don't know how to cut off the ring because Julio Cesar Martinez has way more defensive flaws and, and reaches way more and his arms are way shorter than that of Felix Alvarado. This dude, this dude Felix Alvarado got, got he know how to pressure the ring. He don't never stop coming. And, bro, with the body punching, he going to have Sonny Edwards having to sit down and fight with him, bro, and he is about to put hands on Sonny Edwards, bro. Could be wrong. But I think Felix Alvarado is about to beat the shit out of Sonny Edwards, bro. Badly. I got him stopping Sonny Edwards, bro. Because Sonny Edwards is going to be on his bike the entire fight. He is going to be literally, you will watch him try to run from Felix Alvarado damn near the whole fight. All that backpedaling, all that running and shit, he is going to be tired the back half of the fight. And when he gets tired, couple that with the body work of Felix Alvarado, Felix Alvarado is going to punish this man. And beat him up badly, bro. If you were, if he was dealing with a pressure fighter that ain't got no feet, that don't know how to cut off the ring, that can't move with him, Felix Alvarado gonna be on that man like white on rice, bro. He going to, he, he is going to dismantle Sonny Edwards. And it's gonna start with his body work, the left hook and right hand down to the body. He's gonna pin Sonny Edwards to the ropes, and when he pins him to the ropes, he's not gonna let him out of there. And by the fourth or fifth round, Sonny Edwards going to be gassed, bro, if he make it that far. If Alvarado don't just jump on him from the rip. I think Alvarado, I think this is a bad matchup. I think it's a bad stylistic matchup. A boxer with no power who relies on his feet. Their worst nightmare, the worst thing for them is a pressure fighter with power that goes to the body that knows how to cut off the ring. If you're like that's the worst tip that's the worst possible matchup for a guy who can't make you respect his power. It's the worst matchup for a boxer. Like Sonny Edwards. That tries to, to tries to outpoint you, that's just gonna try to do a little cute shit, you know what I'm saying? Make you miss and and I ain't gonna sit down on my shots and, and I'm gonna try to move around the ring. The worst thing is for somebody that's gonna have the ability to make him sit down and fight. And that's what Felix Alvarado going to do. He's going to make his ass sit down and fight, and he is going to beat Sonny Edwards' ass, bro. Could be wrong. If I'm wrong, come back and tell me. But if I'm right, y'all be sure to let him know who, who told you Felix Alvarado was going to put that ass whooping on him. I got Felix Alvarado by stoppage somewhere between round six and round nine. Between round six and round nine, I got Alvarado by stoppage. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a little bit later, round 10, round 11. But, but 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 that back half of the fight, I think it's going to start off competitive. Sonny Edwards going to have his moments. Sonny Edwards might very well be winning four rounds to two after six. But Phoenix Alvarado is going to own him the back half of the fight. The body work is going to kick in. The relentless pressure and having to bag up over and over and over and over and over and over again is going to kick in on Sonny Edwards. And Phoenix Alvarado is going to turn up as the fight goes on and beat his ass, bro, and stop him. Badly.
that's my pick. What's yours? Let me know in the comment section. Comment down below. Smash the like. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. For breakdowns and predictions, hit my email, knockoutboxing 86 yahoocom Don't forget about our live shows Wednesday and Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we up out of here. Peace out, y'all.